Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are breaking down the basics of popular retirement saving options so you can make informed decisions for your future. So let's get started. If you are new here, my name is Parul and I'm an economist by profession and I make videos on money management and getting financial freedom fast. First is 401k plans. A 401k is a retirement saving plan which is offered by many employers. Here's how it works. First is your contribution. You contribute a portion of your salary to the plan and it's often matched by your employer. The second is the tax benefits. The contributions are done pre-tax, which reduces your taxable income. The taxes are paid when you withdraw your money you know, in retirement. For example, if you earn $50,000 and contribute 5%, which is $2,500 to your 401k, your taxable income drops to $47,500. The next option is a traditional IRA, and this is not done through your employer. So for contributions, you will contribute up to a certain amount each year. And the tax benefit is the same as 401k that uh, your taxable income gets reduced but you uh, pay taxes when you withdraw your money. So for example, uh, you can contribute $6,000 in a traditional IRA. Your taxable income uh, would be reduced by $6,000. The next is Roth IRA. So contributions for that is similar uh, to the traditional IRA, uh, but the tax uh, benefits differ that you don't um, get a reduction in your taxable income but when you withdraw the money in retirement, it is tax-free. So your money grows tax-free. For example, if you contribute $5,000 to Roth IRA now, and it grows to 20000 by the time you retire, you can withdraw the entire $20,000 tax-free. Okay, in this part of the video, I will talk about what are the options you have about 401k if you are thinking about leaving your job or uh, you're changing your job. So let's look at the first option, which is roll your savings into um, IRA. So in this way, you can continue to be invested uh, with significant tax advantage. You may gain uh, access to a wider range of investment options compared to your 401k. The second option is that you can leave the money uh, as is, um, so this is good if you know the investment wherever uh, your previous employer had is doing good. This can be a good option if the plan has low fees and are a good investment uh, choices. The third option could be roll over to a new employer 401k. So if you get a new job that offers 401k plan, you can roll over your old 401k into the new employer 401k plan. This will consolidate your retirement savings into one account, which is easier to manage. Okay, the last option is cash out your 401k. You can withdraw the money, uh, but this option typically incurs heavy penalties if you do it before uh, the age of 59 and a half. And this should generally be considered as a last resort due to the financial implication. So uh, for this reason, uh, I would strongly say that you uh, create an emergency fund in a high yield savings account so that uh, you don't have to dig into your retirement savings and investment for any unexpected expenses. Okay, in this part of the video, I would like to answer a question that one of my subscribers asked. So this is what she asked. I saw a brief article about 401k savings and how to transfer to a Roth to minimize your tax burden. What was not clear to me was what are the rules and when should one start to transfer? Could you explain that? Okay, so one popular choice is to roll over your traditional 401k in a Roth IRA. This can be a smart move, especially if you expect to earn a lot more income in the future as there are limits on how much high earners can contribute to a Roth IRA. Here are some key points to remember. Rolling over a 401k to Roth IRA can be beneficial, but you owe uh, income taxes on money that you move that year. After retirement, however, you won't pay taxes on withdrawals. 
For example, if you convert $10,000 from a traditional 401k to Roth IRA, you will owe taxes on that amount. If you are in the 24% federal tax bracket and your state is a 6% tax bracket, you will owe $2,400 on federal taxes and $600 in the state taxes, which is $3,000 total. So this is optimal, especially for high income earners who cannot contribute directly to the Roth IRA. But make sure to consult with a tax professional so that you understand the rules and avoid any type of surprises. I am not a tax consultant. I just did research on Investopedia and found this information. When converting a traditional 401k to a Roth IRA, you owe taxes because a traditional 401k is funded pre-tax money while an IRA uses post-tax money. The rollover amount uh, is taxed as regular income tax with tax rates ranging from 12% to 35% in 2024. So why would somebody convert 401k to Roth IRA? The main reason is that it can uh, allow your savings to grow tax-free and withdrawal in the retirement are tax-free. Okay, let's look at the rules for conversion. Here are the key rules to follow. First, pay taxes now. So when you convert, you pay taxes on the amount transferred as it moves from a pre-tax account to an after-tax account. Second is timing. It's often best to convert in the year in which your income is lower to minimize your tax burden. Okay, so when do we start converting? So uh, I would say uh, when your income is low. This could be during a gap year after retirement, but before required minimum distributions begin. Second way is to spread it over several years to avoid a large tax bill. So that's all uh, I have for today. I hope this clears uh, the difference between the different type of uh, retirement accounts that we have available. And I try to answer my subscribers question about moving the 401k to Roth IRA. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit a like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next one. Please don't forget to leave any comments if you have any questions about this topic. I'll do my best to answer them.